Uh, hey, dude, put that, put that back, dude. Hey, bro, I'm two hands, two hands up. Hey, dude, come out. Two hands up. Shots fired off yourself. Shots fired off yourself. What you got, buddy? I got two hands up. Hey, come out with your hands up, man. All right, bro. Let's see your head. Come out. Come out with your hands up. I got two hands. Hey, dude, turn around. No one was injured when a man answered an apartment door holding a semi-automatic handgun and two officers arrived at an apartment complex in Menifee, California at about 9.50 p.m. This was in response to a call regarding a male banging on an apartment door and walls, shouting profanities and creating a disturbance, according to a Menifee Police Department's news release. And before I continue, here's that audio. 911, what is the address of your emergency? Um, it's an apartment complex, and I don't know what's going on, but... He's banging all over, talking about can open the door. He is just really it's disturbing loud, and it does not sound like something. Okay, does he, he sound like he's inside, or maybe he's outside of the front door? No, he sounds like he's inside because we can I can hear him. Okay, what was it that he's saying? And open the door. Uh, he's just cussing up a storm, but he's loud and he's banging on all the walls. Okay. After police knocked on the door, and we'll need to get back to that point later, 19-year-old Robert Ares opened it and stood in the doorway. One of the officers, Bobby Flores, observed him holding a semi-automatic handgun in his right hand, at which point Officer Flores fired his weapon. Again, the suspect, Ares, was not struck by the gunfire, and neither of the officers was injured. The other officer's name is Shy, by the way. Now, Ares was arrested and booked suspected of brandishing a loaded pistol at, and we'll need to get back to this point too, Menifee police officers who were investigating the disturbance. In addition to suspicion of illegal possession of a loaded firearm, receiving stolen property, and child endangerment. Ares secured bail a short time later and was released from the Marietta jail after posting a $35,000 bond. So, the reason why this video is currently circulating around the internet some six months after the incident occurred is because it looks like, based on footage from body cameras, that officers knocked on the doors yet didn't identify themselves. Furthermore, they backed away from the peepholes, which means Ares couldn't have seen who they were. This would explain why he answered the door with a gun. He has the Second Amendment right to do so. I mean, who's knocking on his door unannounced at night? So you'll have to ask yourself, was this man allowed to arm himself? And if any movement he made made it seem like he was threatening with a weapon, then what chance did he have at making this a peaceful, safe interaction with law enforcement? Look, I recognize that being an officer is a hard and dangerous job, one that I wouldn't want, where split second decisions are the difference between life and death. But if that's the case, then civilians have even less time to protect themselves. That's even with the almost contradictory commands. How do you lie down on the ground while keeping your hands up? Hey, dude, turn around. Turn, turn around. around. Come down on your knees. Down on your knees. Down on your knees. Down, put your hands on your head. Hands on your head. Lay down flat. Flat on the ground. Flat on the ground. You got me? Yeah. I'm going to rest. All right. Are you hit? No. I'm scared, bro. Put your other hand behind your back. Is there anybody else now? No. And I don't want to gloss over this, but Officer Flores' hand sure did cover the camera a few times when using his radio. Not good. Plus, this was a non-emergency call where there wasn't a suspected weapon involved to begin with. With all of that being said, according to Captain Dave Gutierrez of the Menifee Police Department, the handgun was seized and was confirmed to be a non-serialized and unregistered firearm. Also, the officer who opened fire, Flores, was a six-year law enforcement veteran and had been with the Menifee Police Department for just over a year at that time. He was placed on paid administrative leave pending the outcome of that investigation. Was this a violation of rights guaranteed by the Constitution? Let me know what you think.
This Tennessee governor knows that he dressed in drag when he was younger, but it didn't keep him from passing anti-drag legislation. You can find a link for this video in the description below. For more of my content, look for me on my YouTube channel called We Gonna Be Alright, or click on the Jeff Wiggins hashtag. And as always, my architect knows Japanese.